The Interurban, the Como Harriet, the Rice South St. Paul, and the Hamlin Cherokee lines all shared the same track in front of the state capitol. In 1950, the state capitol grounds were expanded, and uh, the segment of Wabasha Street that ran at a diagonal just below the capitol steps was eliminated and a new curved street, Constitution Avenue, was put in. And new streetcar tracks were placed on the street, but only after three years, the, the, all the streetcars were abandoned and those tracks were taken out of service. This is a Como Harriet car turning from southbound Rice Street. north on 4th Street, and the streetcar is about to turn left on East Hennepin through the heart of the old St. Anthony neighborhood. Some non-revenue track continued one block straight ahead, and in the distance you can barely see East Side Station, the streetcar barn where the Como Harriet was based, and what it was built in 1891, it was the last of the streetcar barns to remain in service. After leaving the island, they crossed the main channel of the Mississippi on this steel arch bridge. Passing the iconic Grain Built Beer sign, they pulled to a stop in front of the Great Northern Depot. The streetcars use safety islands in front of the depot. Placement for the old Minneapolis Union Station, which was just across Hennepin Avenue. And the trains of the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy, Great Northern, Northern Pacific, Minneapolis, and this was the foot of Hennepin Avenue in downtown. This car is passing the Chicago Great Western Freight House, originally built for the Wisconsin Central. Looking south towards downtown at the Gateway, this is where Nicollet Avenue and Hennepin Avenue came together at 1st Street. There is the main post office looking down for looking south. In downtown, a major problem was that passengers had to walk out into the middle of the street to board. There you see at the right a safety zone sign that the city put up to try to safeguard passengers, but as you can see it didn't always work. That guy almost got hit. This is at 6th and Hennepin. You can see the cars to the left passing behind the passengers. Postman based at the main post. More action at 5th and Hennepin. That's the lumber exchange behind the streetcar. If you're looking at the block between 6th and 7th Street, there's the Gopher Theater and the Astor Theater down towards the 6th Street end of the block.
Rail Fans Association chartered a streetcar for a trip beyond Brookside out to Hopkins. We're following a regular service car across Meadowbrook Lake and Blake Road in Hopkins and Central Avenue where 169 is today. And now we're crossing Hopkins. This was always the scenic highlight of the trip. Up the ravine. This is the University Grove stop. It was at the base of a long stairway. The stairway is still there as is the pad for the shelter. Crossing Kaufman Street by the U Grove with Cleveland Avenue in the distance. And we're making a stop for the U Grove. The motorman shuts the doors and releases his air brake. And opens up the controller. And off we go. There you can see one of the livestock barns on the right. Now we're starting to head down the ravine that leads to Eustace Street. The conductor is collecting fares as the car moves along. There were no free transfers between the inner campus line and the rest of the streetcar system. Instead, there was a... Thank <laughs> you.